let's get start demo first so this is same series of azure storage feature so now in this feature uh, azure storage will learn today like how we can upload our file in the blob storage so here just i just create a one endpoint with the sp.net core web api along with the azure storage blob storage so once i post here see when i try to get they will ask actually that file whatever file you want to upload so if i want to upload suppose example this one if i upload this one along with if you want to some additional information suppose as a model we have as a file information along with their information means suppose additional uh, we want to store some uh, some information in the db like for example customer right and customer image and customer uh, information first name last name and also those also we can capture here like for example uh, in here like karthik and description about this over here this is a uh, this is it is my description and author something like like uh, author karthik also right so this is something as a blob storage uh, storage information so whatever information i just show you as example like if if you want to upload file along with their information also you can just take it from that dot uh, net core endpoint so once i execute so debugger point is there once i continue and continue so once i execute successfully now see i am getting a 200 zero record and also whatever upload is uploaded uh, uploaded in our blob storage so that information also will get it like region is created status also is there let me zoom in for you so see the reason faces of this and also whatever that blob uri so you can get it this is actually blob uri as of now i'm storing as a local blob storage so that's why it's showing like that but yeah if you use your real azure information so definitely will get that azure path as well here along with this folder you know directory and the file name and this is the file name and as of now we are returning bytes returning null so like this and also i can show make sure like once i upload this file i can check it from here so see as of now uh, there is a three blob uh, container so once i refresh this latest uh, no new new blob storage actually new container actually added right because this one i just created and once i double click on that you are able to see that uh, folder and directory and uh, file as well so let me double click on that see this is actually i just created uh, as a file by default it will store as a, this folder and also inside this as a file right and if you want to uh, see whatever file i just stored is in our azure blob storage if i double click so i can also see it is trying to transferring and retrieving once it's done now you are able to see also my file right so that's that's we have covered in this session how we can actually create how we can upload our file in the blob storage and later part we'll actually do many many things in this series like how we can download as well how we can get the search token how we can that uh, get the checksums and low many many things we'll do so before uh, proceed what what i would suggest to you if you first time visit my channel so go to my channel and check out my you know blob storage uh, you know uh, uh, you know stuff for example see last time we create a table storage and also we use uh, azure uh, service bus uh, message using the queue azure queue so those are things actually it is mandatory before proceeding this azure storage and also how we can set up our local locally in our azure storage things so that's also important and also you can go to my uh, playlist here that is a complete uh, session one by one you can check out this one so let's get the start implementation so same example i'm just taking which is we covering in this feature so two things we have done in this in this series uh, azure service bus and also azure table right so now i have to just create a new one let me create a new folder over here that is called uh, blob storage right so blob storage make it a name the blob b capital 
and now inside here what i will do first first i will just create a service so that everything will be interact with our service and that also is actually reusable component so you can also take it this service and use in your project anywhere so let me create first as an interface uh, as an interface and name it i would like to suggest over here name can be anything as per our requirement but yeah i'll just put it azure uh, a azure block service add and here i have to expose one method which is uh, which is related to uh, upload upload block upload file right so let me create it i will not writing over here so let me bring back to new line so that i can show you and i can explain and see i just created task and this is a response whatever response i want to return back as of now we don't have this implementation but yeah don't worry i'll just create as a little bit later and here i just created one method upload files and what are the expecting in this upload file i just pass as a container actually blob whatever blob we have stored they are depending actually container so azure blob uh, and actually uh, store the file using the container so that's why we have to create a container which container because in the azure blob storage there's a many many containers over here you can just get see in this blob storage here you can just create a container inside this container you can create uh, your folder structure and inside the folder structure you can store your file so like this way actually azure blob storage is working so first i just pass is a blob container what is the container and then also is a directory name and the third parameter would be your file name and the last one would be your file stream right so this four information once you pass so they will actually store a the file actually upload in our blob storage so let me create first this azure response so copy this one and go to our azure view model and here i just have to create one more response for this azure response so let me create that guy and i have to just create few property to to get it response back whatever response we want right so let me see see i just created one status code whatever status code we return from that blob storage uh, response and also what is the reason uh, if it is success fail so what would be the reason they are returning back as a response we will be store and also we are actually storing our file right so that uri also will send to ui and we'll managing the each other like suppose we getting any error while uploading file so we'll just check it okay is error is true or not so based on this we can use uh, further uh, for the client and also we'll return back the file name and file bytes and error message so those are just a pretty much simple uh, you know response we can create it for the using that and go back to your here bring back the namespace actually that model so my namespace would be our this for this model so that's done for this uh, azure service uh, signature now go back to implementation of this concrete class so let me create a one more uh, class over here so that i can uh, i can implement over there so that same name i will put over here as like interface and their implementation concrete implementation azure blob service and here i will just inherit i azure azure blob service and let me uh, default implementation so see these are my default implementation and we have to remove this guy and now now we have to start our implementation over here right so before implementation actually we have to do some configuration but yeah that i can do in a later but yeah as of now let me create a constructor i have to inject you know one client blob service client which is actually uh, which is helps to give us all the method where i can directly inject or i we can you know store our files so using this client actually we can have to use uh, we can do our operation so as of now see there it is a uh, it is saying is not there right difference is not there so why because see this package actually depend on this client blob is service client actually dependent azure storage blob uh, packages right so let me 
get this package first so let me directly you can get it over here find the latest version or you can go there in, inside that you know new get package manager and you can install that but yeah visual studio provide this nice feature so i will use this one directly i can use it and also see now it is getting namespace and this is gone right and what i will do simply i have to inject over here uh using that private field now i'm ready to use this client in implementation so what would be the first um, uh, step for he over here i have to just create a uh, so in this block service client we have to look for uh, get get blob container client so let me find that client get block container client right so see here that first we have to use this method to check okay whatever we client that is exist or not so we have to check over here directly pass this container see this is container expecting actually a blob container name so let's just pass the blob container name for example i just pass container name is a uh, upload or you know blob upload so that i just to pass over here and for the checking and store over here first like a container and what i have to do now i can check this container if if it will i'll, I'll tell that container okay if it is not exists so please create for me okay so like this way actually i can use this method and that is done right so see just i just use this method to check okay uh, there is a container exists or not if it is not exist please create for me right so like this way we can use it for create the container and it is actually safer side uh, to use that one so also i'll just use await so that with asynchronous method right so first step is that uh, create a container okay create container blob blob container and then now second step right like check your uh, blob blob contain blob blob is exist or not right and if it is not exist then we have to check it right blob is there or not so how we can do that simply using that container so let me use that container dot uh, get blob count see blob client right so using this blob client if you see that method see there's a overload method over here like blob name right so in this blob name you can just pass it your blob name so whatever blob name you can just uh, specify for example i will just create as a manipulation over here so that uh, so here what i will do simply i'll just pass our directory name so for example i will use the directory name as well as slash whatever your file name right so that i can use it over here as a file name why i'm using directory name because see for example if i not using any you know directory structure so definitely when you create a file so only you can just create a file you don't you you can't create as a you know a folder so if you specify the path like for example whatever the folder and whatever the file name so it will create automatically such kind of structure automatically we don't have been taken care so that like that way actually that blob client whatever the structure you know path you can just specify your like uh, your folder name then slash uh, uh, another folder name slash another folder name and whatever like for example like i mean if it says folder folder first and folder second and then your file name dot svg or or any file name whatever pdf right so if you want to specify like that you can just using the directory because in this directory specify whatever the directory you can just specify like that and then whatever file name you can just coordinate over here like that way actually i'm using here and to you know make simple right and now what i will do simply i have to create a blob over here blob the store as a variable and then what i need to do in this blob uh 
first i just pass in this and then what i need to is this blob i have see i just create a client right blob client i have just created right after blob client created what we have a many method actually over there if you see over here see many many things i can do in this blob like upload download and you know, uh, create a sas token everything right so what i will do simply i will try to do upload and pass it to our uh, file stream see this upload here upload here is you know many many uh, overload method so i will use this as a stream so that i can pass it the stream and the rest of information i already provide right see this i just create a blob client using my directory and folder name a folder name and file name and then what i am trying to do i am trying to tell him okay just create this file uh, uh, that client so file this is a file stream just pass it a file stream also you can pass it to you know other parameter also use so you can use it but yeah as of now it is fine uh, for me so where blob 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 result and store here and let me bring back here now see now this step also done right blob client created and upload the file and we are getting here our response right now uh, whatever response we are getting from here i am getting from response like that okay as a response and now we have to manipulate our response to back to our this response right so what i have to do simply i have to just create uh, initially uh, the create our response over here so that whatever response i want i can return back to over here right so let me create a response quickly so see now i just just create use same variable and create a new instant of azure blob and here what i'm trying to do simply we have bought our properties we just return back so in this case see that is a spelling mistake so i'm just correcting over here blob dot uri so in this blob we can get our uri also blob dot name inside this blob we can get the name and this blob result actually that blob result is have a no get row response see it is async uh, async method so i have to use await so once i use await so blob result we have a get row result a get row response and whatever status they will they have actually after uploading so that i can get it over here similar i can get it from the reason faces right so that is done now this is done right so what i have to do if something error handling right so suppose while uploading we are getting some error right so how we can get it that error so if you see uh, for example here see while upload if you see the upload method it is clearly saying uh, azure result re re request fail exception will be throw this failure occurs. suppose if any failure happening in this method so this will handle of this request failure exception so what i will do simply i have to create a try block inside the try block i have to use so that whatever if any exception throw inside that method while uploading so i can catch it so direct you know this is a main exception right so in the main exception we can't get it whatever the exception we are getting here by request fail so that's why what i need to do simply i have to create another catch and for the specific that uh, error so that is uh, request fail exception so call it to that request fail exception request fail request fail exception and we can capture whatever request is fail that i can capture over here right simply what i will do again i just whatever our blob response i just set is the true because i'm getting the error that's why true and whatever is status see directly i can get the status what is the status and what is the message we can store like that and finally if it is uh, if it is not related to you know that request fail exception in something else exception definitely will get from the main exception so here also we can just uh, 
you know bind our uh manipulate our response over here like that simply it is true 500 and we have to get that exception so whatever exception message i can just edit over here and here simple return your blob response main response so like this way actually you can create your upload file implementation as a service so this is done now now what i have to do i have to call this service in our controller right so go to your controller now and here the, we don't have any controller for that right so let me create a new controller so that you can i can show you from the scratch so use that api black api controller and here just make it it's a blob blob and add to here the blob controller called controller and simply create a constructor so that i can inject our service so what is my service name my service name is azure blob azure blob service right i azure blob service so let me call that i azure blob service and create an instance uh, create a variable and create an instance inject inside the constructor so this is done don't worry about that this service also we created we have to resolve the dependency inside the program.cs file so we'll do in a later and now here first i will just create a one endpoint so that i can call uh, we can call our service and get upload right so first what i will do simply i have to create one http post like for example upload and see i just disable you know there's another property over here that is called a disable request size so that means uh, it is actually by default the request size would be a 30 mb right so if you want to more than 30 mb is upload the file so definitely the api will uh, throw the exception so that's why i disable so that it will not any uh, error it will not send any error right so what i need to do next simply i have to create one method and let i'll just create and simply upload method over here and take it as a parameter from body and in this file upload actually we have a uh, those property we have to create we have to just create it now so that you can understand what we have what i'm saying over here file upload model right so let me create a file upload model here inside the model folder go to the class create over here create it now what are the four files over there should be first actually i have to create you know where i have to store our file so for the browsing a file or you know getting the file i will use the i form which is you know microsoft sp.net http for i for i form right so i will use this so whatever file i will choose they will store over here inside this i form file right this is a nice feature actually then whatever you want your you know model so you can just you just create it so as of now i just create it like name description and author right so those information i will just create it and now go back to your controller here just bring back the namespace and uh, it should be written suppose as of now just return okay but yeah uh, we'll have to we'll have to get the result and then also we'll have to use right now how we can call that our service it is very simple call this service over here dot uh, upload file and an upload file see there are four parameter we are required right? the blob container so what be my blob container name my blob container I'm suppose blob blob upload upload right and then it's asking to directory name so it is just optional you can just use like if you want to uh, upload file in this directory or if you don't if you don't want to be the uh, without directory so you can use it right so that's why i'm just give the optional and then file name so i will show you both way like one file i upload with the directory and without the directory so first let me use the directory uh for example my new folder right and then what is my file name file name getting from here so 
this will get actually so let me get it from here model dot whatever that file see this file dot file name so i will get the file name from here and the file stream right so that file stream also we have to get it from here so how we can get it from here file name so let me create a file stream and inside that what i need to do simply i have to use the model dot file dot open as a read stream and in this file see i file from actually here the method actually read stream so if you the read stream so you will get that whatever file you are just you are trying to get on over the http request you can get that stream so let me pass as a stream let me bring back and that is done right and simply it is a await method so you have to use a, a synchronized method so you have to use await and store as a variable as a result result and also bring back the new line see now uh, we have got the result and this result we have to just simply pass it to over here but before that i can just check okay if that result dot is error right so if it is is error over there so that means we have to return back to over here for example bad request along with this uh, response whatever the bad request so you can pass it as a bad request along with like for example result result dot result dot error message or whatever you can get you can just but yeah as of now i just pass it to whole response so that i can show you what i mean so that is done so i am getting this here but yeah before that also we can check one more thing uh, suppose somebody is not choosing a file but yeah this is not related to azure functionality but yeah i'll just make it uh, clearly for you for model if it is if somebody not sending any file or all so that checking also we can do that like that okay so this is done implementation prospective has been done now we have to do two things actually first this azure service we have created that also we have to resolve the dependency and inside this azure service uh, if you go to the implementation also we have to use that blob service client right so that also we have to resolve the dependency because neither it will complain right so go to that program.cs file here uh, dot program.cs file here see uh, we have two other services also resolve over here so that i need to resolve that first so first go to your builder dot services dot add scope here i have to just pass our service so azure blob storage service and this this is done right and one more thing actually we have to do that azure service client right so for this actually see previously also we have to create it for queue uh, add queue service client add table service client right so similar way i have to create for that um, azure blob storage client right so we are actually i have to create it if you go to the solution so this is actually that extension method which we have created for as a client factory for all that azure storage features right so go to that so if you go to over here see i have just created for that uh, add queue service client and also i have created for add azure service client so let me create one more over here uh, for azure blob service client right so first what i need to do simply i have to create a one method over here and this and let me bring back to my method so that i can show you and also bring back the parameter right see simply i just create uh, azure azure client builder over here and using that block service client and blob service options right which is we are using right so that's why i'm uh, specify over here and inside this method actually if they expecting this parameter right service uri connection string or uh, pre per msi right so as of now we are not using but i keep it uh, for the future perspective so now if it is so i need to check if it is that you somebody passing as a uri so i have to register as a 
like that URI base or if it is not then I have to register uh, simple right so let me show you what I mean see first I just check it if it is true right if it is true or it is try to see whatever URI just pass the connection string if it is URI so we are getting to URI and we just pass as a using the builder dot add blob service client to register actually our connection string over here right so that's why i using this add blob service and then if it is else part if you going to the else part here what i am to do simply i have to just pass this guy as a connection string right so let me pass it to like directly see uh, if it is uri so i i have to handle like this way that's why i put this condition if it is if it is not a URI, so what I am trying to do simply I pass this connection string directly over add block service client, right? Which is provided, you know, see this is provided our Azure client factory. Once it's done, now go back to again that program.cs file. If you go to program.spell here, simply I need to copy this guy, okay, and paste it over here. And simply you have to change client builder dot add serve blob service client. And here you have to change to blob and where I am getting this blob connection string you can get it from your connection string from app dot setting so go to here now see previously I have two connection string right for queue connection string table connection string. now I have to create that connection string. what is that it is a blob so copy this guy create a comma create a new new uh, field over here new property and here you have to pass that your connection string so where you will get that connection string so if you go to here you will get that your connection string right uh, in my case i just store in the locally so i will get it from here but yeah in the azure portal you can get your connection string so you can get it uh, from there azure portal so i will use this guy to here that's it for that blob storage and go back to here and let me build so that we can make sure everything is will succeed or there is no any error so see build succeed now try to run and see in action so once you run you see here so this is our endpoint has been created so let me test so what i need to do simply try out and here i'll just pass uh, any other file for example i will use this guy so once i add this guy name is for example g sharp right and my my blog and this is that author name and just execute once you execute see the debugger point is there on my service let me check if there any issue or not so let me first create a container so now see container has been created if you go to the blog create a blob client so now also blob client has been created now see there is a uh, generated as a generated says uri this and this there is account name and this is my uri and go to upload see upload also done i am getting a 201 and also it's created and return back to our ui so once you go back see let me zoom in for you so this response we have created along with the all the information so if i go back to our emulator so now see there's a this is a block container let me refresh so once you refresh so my see this one so this is my my container name which i just tell like okay just create for me blob upload and if you go to that guy once you double click on that you are able to see that is the folder right which we have just created so if you go inside this folder you will get this file name uh, not this guy let me refresh okay see this is my folder name inside this container my new folder inside this this is my file right if you double click on that so you can able to see also file and there is also i don't think as a download option but yeah don't worry will create a yeah here is a download option so let me create a download given the path and for example one and uh, okay 
so i have to just select it and see in this here just trying to download and see it is overriding or don't download so like that it is a conflict so it's saying that the, it is overriding the download so here's the option also we can download and check it okay whatever file we have uploaded that perfectly is fine or not right so like that way actually you can check it but yeah that is fine but yeah don't worry about uh, the download part i will just download via programmatically again i just create another endpoint for the download how we can uh, get or how we can download the file from that blob storage so that my that would be my next session and so let me yeah one thing actually i just i want to show one more thing actually before close that see this is just i upload using that folder structure right so if i want uh without folder structure so how we can add it right uh, how we can create it so go to that again here go to your client and uh, here go to your blob cloud like controller and here what i will do instead of this folder so let me create another one actually that is fine create another new endpoint here and here what i will do simply i haven't passed anything right so that is one changes and another changes would be this is for upload without a uh, folder right without folder or directory and upload file without folder that is done so once is done let me run it uh, stop run and go back here see this is new endpoint that has been created now go back here just choose another any file so let me choose same one so that i can show you in same file and execute so once you run now i'm getting successfully created now go back to your here and just refresh to this refresh or here is one more option actually to refresh so if you refresh this see once i refresh so this is the previous file which is stored by the directory but this one i just created without directory so this is a root directory in this container so we have only one and if you want to you know inside the directory and directory so whatever things you can just specify you can just create in and like that way so that's all but yeah one more thing actually we want to show you with this you know multiple directory how we can do that multiple directory right so let me go back to our controller again here suppose for example uh my first folder like for example folder folder first then folder two and then folder three right if i want to that you know the tree tree structure right so how we can do that it's easy that's why i just created uh you no know, separate separate you know file name and all right so let me stop and run one more time so here go back to here and let me call that guy and this guy and just choose file name author and all execute execute so see it is created like this see the folder structure also you are able to see here folder 1 folder 2 folder 3 then your file name right same way you can able to see over here go to the container go to that refresh so once you refresh see folder 1 folder 2 folder 3 then your file right so like this way actually you are also man managing and uh, one more thing actually i want to tell you like see if it is that suppose they also is a very talented actually so if it is duplicate file so they will also prevent and tell okay this is already exists so how we can do that suppose same file i just trying to execute so once i execute if i execute this and see i'll show you in a zoom mode so it's getting status 409 because and also is is error right it is true why because it is saying clearly specify blob already exists suppose you are trying to upload same file twice so definitely they will tell okay this blob already exists so like that that's why actually i just added this 
request fail exception so this will i can get, catch it and i can show the ui right so yeah that's all for this uh you know blob storage but yeah i mean upcoming session will learn more and more so till now thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share